Good afternoon and welcome. Please stand. Behold the wood that bears our name. Behold the nails that hold our sin. The tree from which salvation blooms. The death by which we're born again. We take up our cross and follow him. We lay down our lives that we might live. We carry the hope of Christ within. We take up our cross and follow him. We embrace the sacrifice and walk the path we cannot see. The burdens of this world made light. By blood and thorn we are redeemed. And we take up our cross and follow him. We lay down our lives that we might live. We carry the hope of Christ within. We take up our cross and follow him. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Good afternoon. Today, 23rd Sunday in Ordinary Time. Almost, no, already September. <laughs> and so, and everything changed. We are still only 50 here in the church, and we miss our entire community. So let us offer this mass not only for, for us who are gathered here, but for the ones that are at home that they cannot come to the church, for all who are watching this mass through the television, to the to YouTube channel. So let us prepare up our hearts to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Let us acknowledge our sins, trusting in our merciful Father that always is waiting for his children. Lord, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace to people of goodwill. you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O oh God, Almighty Father, glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace to people of goodwill. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world and mercy on us you take away the sins of the world receive our prayer you are seated at the right hand of the Father and mercy on us glory 
to God in the highest and on earth. Peace to people of goodwill. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace to people of goodwill. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, You, son of man, I have appointed watchmen for the house of Israel. When you hear me say anything, you shall warn them for me. If I tell the wicked, O oh, wicked one, you shall surely die, and you do not speak out to dissuade the wicked one from his way. The wicked one shall die for his guilt, but I will hold you responsible for his death. But if you warn the wicked, <clears throat> trying to turn him from his way, and he refuses to turn from his way, he shall die for his guilt, but you will have saved yourself. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. If today you hear his voice, harden not your heart. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Joyfully sing unto the Lord, let us acclaim the rock of our salvation. Into the presence of our God, come with thanksgiving, joyfully singing praise. If today you hear his voice, harden not your heart. If today you hear his voice, harden not your heart. Come, let us worship and bow down. Oh, let us kneel before the Lord our maker we are the people of the lord the lord our shepherd we are the flock he guides if today you hear his voice harden not your heart if today you hear his voice harden not your your heart says at Meribah as in the day of Massa in the desert 
There your fathers tempted me, testing me. Though they had seen my words, if today you hear his voice, harden not your heart. If today you hear his voice, harden not your heart. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, owe nothing to anyone except to love one another. For the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. The commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not kill, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and whatever other commandments there may be, are summed up in this one saying, namely, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no evil to the neighbor. Hence, love is the fulfillment of the law. <clears throat> the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Let your heart rejoice in the Lord. Let your word proclaim his deeds. Let your voice sing out to the world that our God has come to save. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, If your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he listens to you, you have won over your brother. If he doesn't listen, take one or two others along with you so that every fact may be established on the testimony of two or three witnesses. If he refuses to listen to them, then tell the church. If he refuses to listen even to the church, then treat him as you, will, as you would a Gentile or a tax, or tax collector. Amen, I said to you. Whatever you bind on earth, shall be bound in heaven. And whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Again, amen, I said to you, if two of you agree on earth about anything for which they are to pray, it shall be granted to them by my heavenly Father. For 
where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. When, when we were baptized, we used to say that we, we became children of God by adoption. Or the same thing, we belong to a big family of brothers and sisters that is the Catholic Church, the Christian faith. So, supposedly, the ideal is to call each other by brother or sister. And let me tell you something. Since I was ordained, I'm not very, how do you say, like familiar with this kind of vocabulary. Like, tell my people, oh, br my brothers, my sisters, brothers and sisters. I don't used to use many times these words. For me, are big words. Imagine in your family, your brother, your sister, your own brothers and sisters. We don't have to use that word just because, oh, well, we are part of this family of Christ. But the ideal is that we can do that. Really, really feel that you are my brother and my sister. And sometimes we don't know who is in the next pew. Sometimes we don't know what problems you have out there. Sometimes even we don't ask, how are you? How are you feeling? How are you doing with all this pandemic and crazy time? Sometimes we don't have this relationship as a real family. We don't call brothers and sisters not only in the vocabulary, because sometimes it's not in our hearts, that feeling. And today, Jesus is telling us that we need to, to try to live like real family. And God is telling us through all the, the readings today, if your brother is in a, you know, in a bad way or losing his faith or not doing very well all the things, go and, and help him and correct him and try to, to do something for him. Because if you don't do nothing that you can do, and, and if he lost his life, you will condemn too. Because you decide not to do nothing for him. He's, that's what today the readings tell us. And even Jesus says, if you have something with your brother, go and speak with him. And almost in one word he say, don't give up. Because he, he said, you have to go alone, and, and then with another two, and then, then with the church, and, and then... If finally, your brother or your sister not accept your help, your correction, your love, well, it's not your fault. But what is the sad thing sometimes? Sometimes we are not the brothers and sisters who are in bad ways, and, and need help. Sometimes we don't want to help others. But sometimes we are the ones who don't want to listen the corrections of our brothers and sisters. We don't want. Especially if we think that we are more... This is... I don't like to use this vocabulary, but some people think that they are more holy saints because they are very good Catholics. They came every day to Mass. 
So how can I accept the correction of these who never attend Mass, who never came to pray? Oh, no. And we put up our heart very hard. We close our heart because we pretend that we are more perfect or what? So today, I, I, I will not tell you that we need to be like the perfect family because this is a family of sinners. We all are sinners. We all need corrections. We are not perfect. But at least let us try to live at a really real brothers and sisters. And if you at home, at your work, up there is when you have to prove your faith. Up there, try to be humble when somebody is giving you an advice, is trying to help you with your character, with your a lot of things, bad things we have. And of course, try to help others to be better persons. If we help each other as a brothers and sister, oh my God, this country will be better. Not fighting against political things, not fighting against religions, not fighting against cultures. But sometimes we not accept others just because they are different or they think different. So we never, we will never become brothers and sisters. But thanks God we have Jesus Christ in the altar and he will, he will come to help us. To help us with this holy bread and body. And if we eat this bread, we can find that love we need to share with others. And remember, Jesus says, when two or three are gathered in my name, I'm there in the midst of them. If you really believe this, let us stand, let us profess our faith, and let us receive Jesus in the altar. So let us say our Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only beloved Son, who has conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the death. He ascended into heaven, and it is seated at the right hand of God, Father Almighty, from there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. And now let us offer our intentions for our big family, for our brothers and sisters who are in need for our church and for our world. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, that all members receive God's grace to work for our collective future, a future without anyone deemed sacrificial or un unessential. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For civil leaders, that they may pass just laws and measures to promote equality and fair wages for workers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us, that we may see work as an opportunity to partner with God in bringing about a new heaven and a new earth. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear. For the unemployed and the underemployed due to the pandemic, that they remain hopeful and persistent in finding new opportunities and meaningful employment. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who suffered painful loss in the events of September 11th, may they find comfort in the promise of eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the continued healing of people affected by the virus and for the discovery of a new vaccine and new medicine to alleviate the fears and terror created by the pandemic. We pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. That all who are sick may know the healing power of Christ, and that all who have died may live forever with Christ in the glory of the resurrection. We especially remember Diego Munoz, John Ramirez, Wilma Matuska, Tomasa Vasquez, and Annabel Schulz. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the special intention of this Mass, Mark Benamati, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all your personal intentions that may you have into your hearts and the intentions of the people who is watching this Mass. We Gracious God, you give us the light of your only begotten Son to be the light of the world. Hear these our prayers that we might live in this light and receive eternal life. We pray to cry to Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. I will choose Christ. I will choose love. I choose to serve. I give my I give my life, I give my all to you. Some days are hard, and I fight to see the truth. But I'm going to take a stand in all I say. And do I will choose Christ, I will choose love, I choose to serve. I give my heart, I give my life, I give my all to you. Some fall away, and some refuse to see a willing and humble heart. I pray you will find in me. I will choose Christ. I will choose love. I choose to serve I give my heart I give my life I give my all to you Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And may the Lord accept this sacrifice on my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O oh God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fighting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself that 
the cause, the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one choir of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the default, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ, at the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith When we eat this bread And drink this cup We proclaim your death, O oh Lord Until you come again Therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be here in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that parta partaking of the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit as a family in Christ, as a body of Christ. And remember also our church, a spirit through all the world. Bring her to the fullness of your love. Together with Francis, our Pope, Randolph, our Bishop, all the clergy, all the religious, all our vocations, all your people, O oh Lord. And remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face, and have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, Saint Teresa of Avila, and all the saints who have pleased you through all the ages, we may merit to be heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. As a family in Christ, as brothers and sisters, let us pray together as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our hearts and our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant peace and unity in accordance to your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. So the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. So let us offer each other a truly sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am now worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And may the body of Christ bring us the eternal life. Amen. Where two or three have gathered, you have promised to be there. In your promise we have gathered, trusting in your love and care. You have called us into your presence, turn our hearts and minds to you. That together we may gather 
for what you would have us do. By the life you lived among us, you have taught us how to live. By your mercy and compassion, you have taught us to forgive. By your justice, Lord, you have shown us what the reign of God must be. By your cross and resurrection, you have set your people free. Through the clear baptismal waters, you have claimed us as your own. We are one in you forever. Never strangers are alone. In your love and truth we are nurtured as a seedling grows and thrives. From our waking to our sleeping, we will praise you with our lives. As the darkness falls around us with the coming of the night, only dimly can we see the path and we hunger for your light. You have set the stars in the heavens and the radiant moon as a sign. You will guide us through the darkness we will see your glory shine as the blazing sun at sunrise speaks the glory of your name let our lives declare your glory and the covenant we claim make us brave and faithful apostles give us vision clear and true pour us out like living water until one are one in you Trusting in your love and care. You have called us into your presence. Turn our hearts and minds to you. That together we may gather strength for what you would have us do. For all those who cannot receive Jesus in the Holy Sacrament, for all who are watching this Mass from home, please put the hand of your heart in your heart and pray with me this out of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated 
from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And please be seated because we have some announcements. At this time, we can still only have 50 people in attendance at Mass. Unfortunately, Masses are filling up very quickly, now since parishioners are remembering to call early in the week, and many parishioners are being turned away from being able to celebrate Mass. We ask that you limit yourself to one weekend Mass to give as many of our parishioners the opportunity to celebrate with their community. Thank you. The Mass that is celebrated on Wednesdays is the Sunday Liturgy. This Mass is especially for those that are immune compromised, elderly, or most vulnerable to the COVID-19 virus. If you do not fall into these categories, please leave your space for others who do again as we can only have 50 people at Mass. As mandated by the Diocese of Reno, everyone is required to wear a mask during the entire Mass. Each week, the videos of the Mass will be uploaded and can be seen on YouTube by 7 a.m. each Sunday morning in both English and Spanish. For the leaders of St. Teresa Ministries, those leaders who would like to start meeting in the parish again, please contact Alicia in the parish office regarding a meeting on September 12th. Thank you. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you and bless your families in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration of this Mass is ended. Go and share the love of Christ with others. Thanks be to God. Have a great evening and excellent weekend. Thank you. Oh, beautiful, for spacious skies, for amber waves of grain, for purple mountains, majesties above the fruited plain, America, America. God shed his grace on thee and crown thy good with brotherhood from sea to shining sea. Oh, beautiful for pilgrim feet whose stern impassioned Stress a thoroughfare of freedom beat across the wilderness. America, America, may God thy gold refine. Oh
in love.